In an incredible and novel use of AI deep learning, researchers at the Weizmann Institute of Science now believe that they've discovered traces of fire from over 800,000 years ago, which would make for one of the earliest known pieces of evidence in existence. But to break the study down, I'm here with Israeli tour guide Anat Harel. Anat, it is great to see you so much. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Now, you know, how does this method work exactly? Tell us a little bit about this research and what did the researchers learn? Well, so Israeli scientists have discovered um, a new way to look at archaeological remains and determine if they were exposed to intense heat. Now, why is that important? Because archaeologists up until today, when they've excavated and found um, evidence of uh, bones or rocks or tools or whatever, they only visually were able to tell um, if they were exposed to fire. Why fire? Because cooking and the use of fire and controlling right. fire was really the time that we changed from hominids and hominins, which were early people, into real human beings. It's during the time of Homo hmm. erectus that this happened, the control of fire. And there is an archaeological um, theory that's... Um, that says that it's because of the of the use of control and control of fire that the Homo erectus about a million years ago began cooking their food and protecting themselves from wild animals and being able to live in colder and cold, colder climates. And fire really allowed us to become the humans that we are, our brains grew bigger, our teeth grew smaller. Um, and you can see it as you look at the development in, of skulls through prehistory. Now, what is this new archaeological or, or scientific right. method? Right. Up until now, archaeologists were only be able, were able to look physically, visually at a piece and say, oh, yes, this was touched by fire. And it's probably about 300, 400,000 years old. This new method can look at a piece, a, a remain, and date it back about 400,000 years before that, which goes to prove the theory that we, that archaeologists had not been able to really prove with facts before. Well, so here's, this goes to prove what archaeologists have been saying all this time. Well, so here's my question. You know, how do we know that the fire in, in this case was intentionally made? Because I think that's what you're saying, that, that you know, that was the big change where fire was being used intentionally yes. and manipulated. You know, do we, do we know for sure that humans interacted with these flames personally? Yes, we, we, can, we, can, we can presume it or assume it. Of course, I'm not an archeologist and I'm not part of the team, but what, what I've learned is that some of the, the, the animal remains were left intact, were not cooked. Others were cooked. And so the cooked ones showed evidence of being under intense fire. And that's what shows some of them were cooked, some of them were not. And mm. that shows that it was an intentional exposure to fire. And it's this artificial intelligence that we are, that, that they're able to use today to date hundreds of years back um, the, 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 the hominid use of fire, the very beginning of modern human beings. Um, yeah, and, and the fact that it was found in Israel. There are five sites, I believe, in Israel where we can show the development of Homo erectus. You know, Israel is the place where they walked through to get to the rest right. of the world. When you walk, when they walked out of Africa, they had to so, walk through this narrow strip of land called the land of Israel. All right, so what, what does this mean for the field of archaeology and other such research into the past and, and really, you know, uh, biological, evolutionary, science in general. What, what does this type of learning, this type of technology mean for research? You know, it was only in the 1970s, I think it was 1974, I believe, where the, the, the skeleton of, of who became Lucy was found. Mm -hmm. So every few years we discover new remains and we discover a new ancestor of humans. Okay, so Australopithecus, and Neanderthals and all kinds of different homos, all, 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 all kinds of different human ancestors mm -hmm. have been discovered every few years. Um, and so it, it basically expands the science of anthropology 
and it teaches us more about where we came from. This big tree that we, you know, uh, that we, that human beings, that Homo sapiens sapiens came from. It expands our knowledge. Every few years, there are new and newer and newer discoveries. It's fascinating. So again, now, if, if proven true that humans built fire and manipulated it and intentionally used these flames 800,000 years ago, which is what this new study suggests, what does that discovery yes. tell us about the history of human evolution? Because I know that you mentioned, of course, that uh, it was suggested that it was about a million years ago that we made that change. So, you know, wh right. what, is, what does right. this say? So what, do, what did fire do for us, okay? Mm. So our brains are bigger in percentage of our skulls than, than all the other animals, okay? Why did it become so? Why is it that our teeth are smaller? Why is it that our skull has less um, very, very strong muscles? Because we chew, um, we chew things that are softer. And all of those all of those little things that throughout time created who we are today. We didn't have to worry about chewing uh, the meat. We could cook it. And so it allowed us to, 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 to focus and, de and develop in different ways. Our teeth got smaller, our brains got bigger. We got more protein that way, okay? So the food we ate was better for us by cooking it a bit, all right? And all of those little things put together created who we are today. And so we always wanted to know when was it that the sure. first Homo erectus discovered fire? Wow. Okay, now we know it really is about 800,000 years ago. How it happened, we don't know, but hmm. we know that it takes it back. Maybe in a few years we'll find more answers, but this gives more and more answers to questions we've had for a long, long time. Anat Harel, thank you again so, so much. You're welcome. Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.